Good morning, my beauties, and welcome to a very first look at the 2022 Universal Mardi Gras Tribute Store. Now, this is a tribute store that I'm excited about. This is an event that I'm excited about in general because this is my very first Mardi Gras event in general. Now, a lot of people have mixed opinions about this year's event and tribute store, but I'm gonna keep an open mind about it. I'm excited about it. It is currently the team member preview. Obviously, I am a team member, so I get first dibs. So, yeah, let's go in and see what's going on. Oh boy, oh boy. So what do we have on the table this time? <laughs> oh, I love that. There's a little Earl Easter egg. Earl's advanced rules leading to safety. <laughs> safety last, I love it. Warehouse, so yes, this store is warehouse themed. Check out the t-shirts that we're presented with. Here's the team member shirt. Do they have my size? It's only $18. This looks really nice too. Here's the annual pass holder t-shirt, which I could also get because I'm also an annual pass holder. Here is what looks to be the jacket. Oh, that feels interesting. I don't know if I'd classify this as like a windbreaker. No, this actually reminds you of the uh, Universal Studios HHN jacket, like the marquee one that they had on the back. Then we also got our Mardi Gras fanny pack. Now, I honestly would never wear a fanny pack, so that's not really up my alley. And some of the hats, so we have the regular hat, if you will, then what looks to be the AP hats. This one just looks very subtle and I like that. And then if you're a sock kind of guy, I'm not really, but these are pretty decent. You see the lighting in here is making it a little bit tricky, if you will. So this looks to be our spirit jersey. So that's the back. So obviously it says Mardi Gras. Then, yep. So we have our US Mardi Gras logo. And this one is going for $60. And then here we have some of our drinkware. Then here we have all of the beads. So many different beads. And then we have some hats, masks, whatever you want to call them. Isn't this Lord Farquaad's crown? Have some more t-shirts, you have some decals, magnets, stickers, whatever you want to call them. Here we have what looks to be some concept art, if you will. Is that the, uh, is that the Firefly from, the Firefly from Princess and the Frog? Oh yeah, check this out. That's actually pretty cool. And right here is our wax figure. Now, I don't know if there's gonna be one or two, we'll find out, but this one is the wax gator. That looks pretty cool. And it's a decent sized wax figure too. Oh, right, check it out. This is me yesterday when my microphone broke. Yeah, this is very warehouse themed. These are what look to be the masks for this year. This one is probably the coolest, at least in my opinion. See, this is like a mix of like Mardi Gras, Halloween Horror Nights, and Toothsome because of all the gears. Oh no, more beads. Why did it have to be beads? Some more shirts. Oh, the light up crown. These are the same light up crowns that they use for HHN. And more of the fancy stuff, if you will. Shirts, dresses, shorts, whatever. Then we have the throne and oh, Hey, what's up, my dude? Is this chair as comfy as it looks? Oh, okay. We'll see how many people try to take photos over here. What are these boxes? Dry water? Is that a thing, dry water? What's this one? Badger spray? <laughs> what is badger spray and why would they need it? Here's the next wax figure. The Mardi Gras Riverboat. Watch how many people ask if this is chocolate. All right, let's head into the hall. A look back in time at Universal Studios Mardi Gras. Okay, this this kind of works. Yeah, just a little throwback, if you will. And then over here, we got like a bunch of the floats and characters and whatnot. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I thought I thought that was Big Bird for a second. Just seeing this stuff alone is really getting me pumped up for this event.
This looks completely different from the Grinch room. Oh, got a lot of paint and stuff. Hopefully a kid doesn't try to drink this paint. So again, more of the same stuff that we saw earlier, but in terms of placement, they did a good job with it. See, so yeah, it looks like throughout the store, we're getting, I guess, more progress on the gator. Ooh, some hats. Let's see, will this hat fit me? Eh, kind of. This tag wasn't in the way. Eh, I mean, this kind of works. Ooh. Oh, this is a cool shirt, and it's long sleeve too. Was this a hoodie? Oh, it is a hoodie. Oh, but they don't have my size, at least not at the moment. King and queen. Yeah, but guess what? I'm a king who has no queen. What a shame. Let's see, Planet Mardi Gras. It's actually a pretty dope shirt. <laughs> I, I like this. Like, I know it looks like very cheesy, very corny, but I like it. Is this a Mardi Gras wallet? Or it's, or no, this is like one of those like foam back things, I guess. I don't know. Oh no, <laughs> not the glitter. Anything but the glitter. All right, let's head into the showroom. Room four, baby. Oh, look at the treats. Oh wow. Now that I'm looking at these in person, these look amazing. Not that big of a selection compared to Christmas, but these look fantastic. Alrighty, let's start with some of these treats. So, we'll start with the shaker cake. So this right here is the hurricane. What is that like? I don't know if that's like orange and cherry or something like that. Here we have one of the brownies, the Mardi Gras brownie. That mask on there looks pretty cool. But again, so much glitter. Another one of the shaker cakes, this one is chocolate caramel bourbon. So we're kind of getting an alcoholic theme, if you will. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. And then another brownie. This looks actually pretty good. Then we got the margarita shaker cake. I just saw a guest getting one of these, so I'm hoping he likes it. Let's take a look at this year's macaroons. Let's see, maple bourbon, bananas foster, king cake. I've never had king cake. I don't even think I've had anything bananas foster in my life either. Oh my gosh, chocolate dipped bacon. <laughs> I love bacon, I love chocolate, but I've never had them together, so that could be an experience. Then the Mardi Gras cupcake. So it looks like we only have one cupcake this time around, but I am not complaining about that. Those look really cool. See, I love the color palette that they use for all these treats. They did a good job of it. And then the chocolate shots. Bananas Foster. Looks interesting. And then obviously we have the cookie dough balls. Let's see. Venus of Velvet. So obviously red velvet. Earthly chocolate. Sunrays orange cream. Mm. And then it's that one on the end. Mars Velvet Strawberry. Those look so dope. Then we have a king cake will be pie. See again, I've never had king cake. I don't even really know what it is, mind you, but it looks good. Now, y'all know how much I love the holiday trifle cakes, like the peppermint one and the gingerbread one. So let's see, we got purple planet and blue planet. Okay, so one is obviously chocolate, the other is vanilla. But in terms of colors, they look fantastic. Then the apple. Now, I actually tried one of the candy apples from Holiday Tribute off camera. It was fantastic. So I would not mind getting another one. All right, so these are the treats that I chose. I wanted to go light this time compared to Holiday Tribute. So we got the Bananas Foster Macaroon and the Orange Cream Cookie Dough Ball. So let's see, so is this our little uh, gator rocket ship kind of thing? <laughs> that looks so cool. Oh, but so much glitter though. Like the amount of glitter they used in here is insane. Here is our little rocket ship. Well, this really isn't a little rocket ship. It's a big rocket ship. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. But more shirts. Louder, wilder, spicier. Is that the theming? <laughs> what is this supposed to be? Is this supposed to be an apron or something? It is. This is an apron. Never thought they would sell aprons here. So yeah, these look to be like all of our main shirts from Mardi Gras. AP magnets, AP hats, more shirts. Ooh, they got a tank top. I don't know if that's for men or for women or if it's unisex. And check this out. Some more concept art. And oh, it's the exit room. Okay, this is very cool. Like I know it's just trees and beads and stuff. The piano, but <laughs> I like it. Let's see, can you, eh, kind of. 
I can tell it's a very old piano. All right, let's go sit in my spot, try some of these tweets. All right. So again, we got the bananas foster macaroon and the orange cream cookie dough ball. So we'll start with the cookie dough balls. If you know me personally, you'll know I love these cookie dough balls. It's okay. That doesn't taste like orange cream. Tasting little hints of it, but it tastes just more like regular sugar cookie. I'm kind of disappointed in that. I love these cookie dough balls. I'm not mad that I got it. I just, I, I don't really know what to say. All right, let's try the macaron. Oh, I didn't even notice there's sprinkles in it too. That's cool. So this is banana foster. Oh, that's good. It's not overpowering with banana flavor, but this is really good. Oh yeah, I really like this. Universal always does a good job with their macaroons. This is a choice one. So, thoughts on those treats? Uh, the cookie dough ball? I'm honestly disappointed in that. I mean, it just tastes more like sugar cookie than anything. It's not a bad cookie dough ball, it's just, I don't really know how I feel about it. Like, I tasted little hints of orange cream, but I really just consider that to be sugar cookie. But in terms of the macaroon, oh my gosh. That was really good. Again, not overbearing with banana flavor. You can see why I love that ride so much. Um, yeah, back to the macaroon. It was good. Again, a bit of a more subtle banana flavor, but I still liked it. Not extremely sweet, and that's why I like these macaroons, because they're not the sweetest item on the case line menu, so it's definitely a good choice. Alrighty, well that's gonna do it for our first look at the 2022 Mardi Gras Tribute Store. Now, I to say, it's more or less just a walkthrough experience than anything. I like that. In terms of merchandise, they have a decent amount, but I can tell that's not really why most people are here. They're here for like the food, the parades, the concerts, not really the merchandise. But I'm going to call that a day for you guys. I'm gonna go on some rides as I still have two more hours until I start. <laughs> so yeah, today's gonna be a lot of fun. And who knows, you, you may just see me in here every other day. So yeah, um, if y'all want me to come back in here soon and get some more treats, let me know down in the comments. I'd be interested to hear what you guys want me to get. So with that all being said, I do want to apologize for the, I guess, lack of microphone quality. Um, but also, let me know what you guys think of the onboard sound quality from the camera and not just from the road microphone. But other than that, if y'all enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and turn on my notifications down below. Thank you all so very much for watching. Love you all so much. Take it easy and stay beautiful, my friends.